So the Volvo Ocean Race is, of course, famous for the ocean racing segments. But in each of the 12 cities, there are import races, which are very popular and have lots of spectator boats. So we're here in Auckland. It's known as the city of sails. And we've got quite a lot of spectators around us. So safety is obviously vital for us. The racing boats can do 25 or 30 knots on a windy day. So it's absolutely vital we keep them separated from the spectators. But we want the spectators to get a good view. Vesper Marine is a marine safety company. We make AIS transponders for vessels to provide collision avoidance and man overboard detection. And we also provide protection zones for events such as the Volvo Ocean Race. It's being used here today to keep spectators informed of the course boundaries and protect them. Well, it's 10 minutes to go before the start here in Auckland. Um, the Vesper Guardian system has been deployed. It's actually being controlled remotely 10,000 miles away by our control room in Alicante. When the race officials set the, the marks, the turning marks, those coordinates are automatically sent to race control in Alicante. Race control then creates the course boundaries to keep spectators safe. It's uh, one o'clock in the morning here in Alicante. Uh, this is the map of uh, Auckland Harbour. It's one o'clock in the afternoon there. And I'm setting up the course, uh, the protection zone for the course for today. I can change the positions of the marks and upload them and then they will show up here in the corners of this protection zone that we have here. You can see on the screen the little diamonds, those are the virtual buoys and the green area is the course itself. It takes advantage of the AIS system, so every boat that has an AIS will have the ability to see these marks and be able to see themselves in relationship to where the course is. There are no lines uh, painted, of course, on the water, so it's difficult to see where you are in relationship to, to the course area and to stay clear. So this is designed to just be a guide and a help in doing that. One of the advantages of using the virtual buoys is that uh, as the wind conditions change, the course can change right up to the last minute just before the race begins, and this often happens. And so those coordinates are sent directly to race control, which can make immediate changes, really at the flick of a finger. And uh, because those buoys are virtual, they move instantly. Even though we have the Vespa Guardian system in place with the virtual buoys and, and we have physical marshalling, some people do stray into the uh, controlled area then the system can automatically notify that vessel with a short warning message to just give them a cautionary note that they have entered into the course. We're using the Vespa Guardian system at all of our stopovers now for the import race and for the leg start. So we're thrilled to be part of the Volvo. Uh, this is in 12 locations and it goes on over a long period of time, so it's really quite an exciting event and we're happy to be a part of it.